New at 10. Over the last couple of years, COVID has made us practice social distance with fist bumps and elbow touches, with handshakes and hugs being too much. However, one man who nearly passed away eight years ago hasn't been able to actually hug anyone since. Our Troy Lynch tells us how he got to do just that about a week ago, and it changed his life. In life, there are a few moments where it feels like time stops. For Kevin Eubanks, that was February 7th. 2014. Without knowing, Eubanks had a heart disease called atrial fibrillation, causing the heart to beat rapidly and randomly, forming blood clots in the chamber of the heart that can turn serious very quickly. What's so crazy is he had no previous health conditions. Um, he took Benadryl and allergy medicine. Eubanks suffered a severe stroke, leaving him paralyzed on the left side of his body. There were days that even in therapy, I hurt so bad. I can remember going home with tears in my eyes from the pain that I had suffered that day. You know, the next morning you get up and the first thing that would pop into my mind was the therapist that worked with me, how excited they would always get when they seen a new movement out of me. As time passed, Eubanks steadily improved and his daughter Emily was inspired, wanting to be an occupational therapist. I got to watch the therapist literally healing him. I went home one night and I told my husband, I said, um, I'm, I'm going to apply for this program. Uh, this is what I want to do. I've seen how they've helped my dad and I want to do the same for others. Very emotional for me that it, she decided to do that. Emily got her degree from Arkansas State and a couple years later, the university asked her to come back teach. Of course I said yes. I've been here about three years. That's where this project came from. This specific project was to help her father get to do the things that he loved to do again and four students went above and beyond. He mentioned a lot of things, fishing, grilling and things, but then he mentioned at the end that he missed hugging people and that just really touched our heart. Was it pretty difficult to kind of come up with? No, it really it really wasn't that difficult for us to, to come up with how we wanted to do it. It was just, now that we have the idea, how exactly are we gonna make it where it's durable and it's gonna work. The four came up with the hug again and presented it to the class. Everyone in the class at that moment was touched because they were like, oh, that's the best one. I was tearing up in class <laughs> whenever they were presenting because I was already visualizing how my dad was going to react. Okay, now I want you to grab it. Now go over there. Come here. You <laughs> can give him a hug. Oh, That's so sweet. Our family loves to hug. And you know, for me, yes, I can hug with one arm, but it just was a natural feeling. My older sister calls it the bear hug. You know, I, I love the bear hug. And that just means so much more. You wanna give Rick a hug? I sure do. <laughs> Come here, young man. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is the first time I've got to hug my, my boys. <laughs> I hadn't up to that time been able to give my two grandsons the bear hug that, that I wanted to give them. And, and I enjoyed that moment and still cherish that moment. When you guys <laughs> saw the video for the first time, what was the reaction? I cried like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, did. I was like, don't cry. There it is. Yeah, there, there wasn't a dry eye among us mm -hmm. watching that video. I mean, how could you, you know, to, to realize that something so small made such a huge impact those girls mean a lot to me now. You don't know, you know, if, if, if something's going to come up that's going to help you in your everyday life. So we thank you students for making this stuff for him. We appreciate it. Yes. Emily recorded her dad's reaction to show her students the impact that they made. She then decided to share it on Facebook, where the video now has over 4.6 million views. No, it brings joy to my heart that maybe somebody out there has been affected in a positive way. Now the world gets to see the power of occupational therapy. I feel like it's a special therapy and that's why I feel like we all got into it because we look at each client and what's important to them, what's meaningful for them and try to help them in that area.
There have been some tough times for Kevin Eubanks. However, he wants his story to symbolize hope. The OTA class is here with Mr. and Mrs. Eubanks, and he has something he would like to share with you. No matter what your circumstance is, don't ever give up hope. A story that embraces the power of hope and a simple hug. Man, now there has been a high demand for the hug again since the video was posted. Over 200 people have reached out to buy one. And if you would like to purchase one or want more information on the product, you can go to their Facebook page, Hug Again. The page got about 3,000 likes in its first week. Man, great story.